It is a remarkable discovery. The closest known potentially habitable planet to Earth, orbiting Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to the Sun, 25 trillion miles away. It is the breakthrough of a lifetime for these researchers at the European Southern Observatory. We have found a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found because it's the nearest star to the Sun and we are very excited about it. They found this faraway world with the help of a huge observatory in the Chilean Atacama Desert with a special reflector telescope. The planet is in a habitable zone, the area around a star where water can remain liquid on a planet's surface. Experts call it the Goldilocks zone because the temperature needs to be just right. If a planet orbits too close to its star, it risks a runaway greenhouse gas effect like Venus. But if it's too far away, any surface water will freeze like Mars. Its surface is rocky like Earth. If it also has water, the next big question, is there life? It's quite an encouraging prospect for the existence of very simple, single-celled life, sort of slime, not for the prospects of the sort of alien life that we might be able to communicate with. More than 3,000 other extrasolar planets have been discovered in the last few years, but most of them are hundreds of light years away and almost impossible to research. Scientists can't see the planet even through the most powerful of telescopes. What they can do is measure the slightest movement of light, picking up on any changes. Research is already underway into a new generation of tiny nanoprobes with laser-driven sails which could make the journey in just 20 years. The sun isn't going to last forever and stars have a fixed lifetime. Uh, and so we eventually will probably want to move to other parts of our own solar system or indeed, indeed beyond. A manned mission to the planet is impossible with current technology. It would take 80,000 years, about as long as humans have existed on Earth. Nazanin Mashiri, News at 10, the George Abel Observatory.